We're still working on beginning Excel skills, trying to get the big picture. This time, let's talk about formulas and functions. Remember now, math skills are not required. This is not math class. Well, you do have to know, like, plus and minus and equal sign, but let the computer do the work. Let's compare terms. A formula, well, formulas and functions both start with an equal sign. Important to remember. With a formula, you're typing the math equation. But really, the only ones you'll probably ever type are the plus, minus, asterisk for multiply, and forward slash for divide. Other than that, you'll probably use a function, which was written by someone else and is preset. So all you have to do is fill in the information, like click cells, click the right cells, and it does the calculations. There are four steps to creating a formula the easy way, and rather than going through them one by one here on the video, I will just send you to that URL address that's written in the description, and you can read them there. But if you follow this four steps every time, you will be all set. That's for formula. This is for a function. There are three common ways to do it. Well, I'll do number three first because I'm one of those. If I know the function, I just type the whole thing from scratch. It's easy. But if you don't use Excel all the time, you might like to find other ways to do it. One common choice is up on the Home tab, there's an Auto Sum button. It's on the right side of the ribbon and it gives you some of the most common functions and then you can just click on that and select the cells to include. A second way, particularly if it's a little bit more complicated function, will be to click that FX, which means function. FX means function. Uh, up on the formula bar and it will give you a form to fill in. Again, there are more specific instructions if you click on that URL address. So these are ways to get formulas and functions going. Remember, don't be scared. You can do it. When you're doing the formulas and functions, you might want to double check your code to be sure it's right. You would do that on the formulas view. There's a picture here on the left of what it would look like to the user, and then a picture on the right of what the formulas actually look like. And remember, I said it's really important to keep switching views in Excel, and this is one reason why. Two methods for getting to the formulas view. One is a memorize item, but it might be easier for you to do it without memorizing if you don't do Excel all the time. That's up on the formulas tab. On the right half of it, it says formula auditing group and then there's a button for show formulas depending on your particular monitor resolution you might see the word show formulas or perhaps just see that the the little icon that goes with it on my computer I get just the icon the second method this is the memorize method is control left accent which is actually down there on the numeric on the on the regular part of the keyboard to the left of the number one key. And you can use control left accent to toggle the regular view and the formulas view on and off. You see that by having these big picture ideas before you start, you can feel much more confident as you're working.